Hello everyone, hope everyone's having a great day. This week we're assigned to do a topic on the DOS, Department of State, or State Department. This discussion post, I'm doing it on the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs. Uh, throughout this uh, discussion post, I'm gonna keep it short, so I'm gonna keep it at abbreviated to PM, it's short for Political Military. All right, so the Bureau of Political Military Affairs falls under the Arms Control and International Security Affairs branch within the State Department. Uh, this discussion post, I'll be covering the Bureau's role, as well as the many offices within the Bureau and the duties that they entail. Um, so the Bureau of Political Military Affairs, their Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary, Tim Kadenow, she's the head of the Bureau. Uh, all right, so the basic hierarchy of the State Department, it follows from Secret Secretary of State, Deputy Secretary of State, and then there's various undersecretaries for the various branches within the State Department. And then within each branch, there's various bureaus and offices. So I'm covering the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs. That's where she falls under, and she reports to the Undersecretary of Arms Control and International Security Affairs. So the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs is the agency, the main agency that links the State Department to the Department of Defense. Um, if they work, the DOD wants to work with the State Department, they mainly go through uh, the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs. Uh, the reason why is because the, pure, the Bureau, the PM Bureau, um, is responsible for providing policy directions for areas such as international security, security assistance, military operations, defense strategy, and defense trades. So in other words, they provide guidelines on how things should go within those areas. So you can see why they work hand in hand with the DOD. With these responsibilities, um, this Bureau seeks to create and manage defense relations with our allies and partners. Um, one office that's, that does this well is the Office of Security and Assistance. Um, they utilize U.S. military grants, hence DOD, um, to assist allies while working in collaboration with the DOD in helping build military capabilities of our allies. The Office of Security and Negotiations um, they facilitate the deployment of U.S. military forces throughout the world by coordinating and negotiating military political agreements. Um, these agreements consist of like defense agreements that would provide for uh, uh, partnered regional security uh, in which bases would be secured or locations for bases to be secured within our allied nation's land that our troops would operate from. Um, the Bureau of PM, Political and Military Affairs, also regulates arms transfers and controls uh, access to our military technology. So like um, the Office of Regional Security and Arms Transfers, hence the name, uh, they oversee the sale or sales of um, our arms to other nations, other foreign nations or our allies and such as uh, planes or guns or stuff like that. Uh, the Bureau of PM also combats the illegal trafficking of small arms or light weapons through funding of weapon destruction programs. The Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, um, they're tasked with eliminating stockpiles of excess de deteriorating or poorly secured weapons such as uh, manned portable de air defense systems as well as eliminating uh, hazards such as landmines and un unexploded munitions. Uh, the Bureau of PM is also responsible for training and equipping uh, international peacekeepers, as well as providing funding for uh, peacekeeping operations. Uh, one recent activity that they provided funding for was the Philippine Maritime Domain Awareness and Law Enforcement, which is assisting the Philippine government in improving its maritime security operations, as well as 
improving its law enforcement capability capabilities as well as training for counterterrorism and information sharing. Um, so yeah, that's basically the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs. Key points is just that they work closely with the Defense Department and they oversee a lot of things that do with the Defense Department. That's why they work hand in hand. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. Hope to have a great weekend.